Hello, I'm Player State, and welcome to a new indie game video. Today, we're going to take a look at Dread Delusion. This is a open world RPG that is inspired by um, RPGs from the early 2000s. So think Morrowind, um, Deus Ex got a bit of that kind of solve things in your own way, not just combat style to it. Um, and obviously, it's got a very uh, 2000s look to the graphics. Um, it came out about a month ago, I think, I want to say. It came out of Early Access just over a month ago. So, yeah, let's have a look and see what it's like. Let's start a game. The world was long ago broken, its surface cursed. You are a dweller of the Sky Realms, drifting islands that cradle the last of human civilization. Here, in the dank cell of an Inquisition ship, you ruminate on your past. Ooh. Dreams of childhood Ooh, I to slip what I am. through your mind. Was your fate sealed, even there? So we got a brawler. It's basically a, your melee class, because it gives plus two to might, increasing my maximum health, covers the combat skills of attack and defense. Urchin, who's kind of like a thief. Plus two guile, increase your maximum stamina, governing the lockpick and agility skill. Plus two wisdom, who's uh, your spellcaster. Increase your maximum mana, governs the law and spellcasting skills. And then plus two persona, which I'm not really sure if that really relates to some kind of like classic classes, but increases your regen rate and governs the charm and barter skill. Um, I am very much a let's play magic guy, so let's play magic. Moved. The mind sharpened. For a while, you excel. Okay, so we've got another choice to make. So we can have plus 20 attack, which increases damage done with all physical weapons. Plus 20 lock picking, which increases the chance of sex successfully picking a lock or disarming a trap. It requires lock picks. Plus 20 law, knowledge of ancient truths, allows interaction with concealed mechanisms to reveal hidden secrets. Or plus 20 charm, the ability to influence others through dialogue can reveal important information or resolve difficult encounters. So, it's interesting because you can kind of pick to go with your class or pick something different. Um, but we're just going to go down, keep going down the magic route, I think. Cracks showed. Your guard slipped. The mistake was grave. The Inquisition had your scent. Um, and so we'll go spellcasting. All right, here we go. That's quite slow turning. Is there a way we can change that? Uh, doesn't look like it. Options, brightness. Ah, look, sensitivity. That's better. Alright, and just before we start, I'd just like to say a big thank you to the developer of this game for giving me a free review copy so we can check it out. And let's head out of the cell. Very clanky. What the hell is that? Let's go in here and get some coins. They're big coins. Pilford's free coins. Hello, mate. Prisoner tw seventeen. <laughs> it's a bit slow on the uptake there. You have been marked for temporary release. The High Confessor will see you in the central chamber. Do not keep her waiting. Why am I being released? Who are you? I'll get going then. Who are you? I was a prisoner like you, but the Inquisition, in its generosity, has made me so much more. You really? You're giving you like wings and chopped off the rest of your body. Cipher magic runs through my veins. My sins have been cleansed. I am a servant of the Inquisition now. All right, buddy. Is there anything we need to interact with in here? No, it looks like it's just... Oh, no, he's still there. I thought it disappeared. What the hell is that? The device lurches on unstable legs, thick blood oozing from its seams with each shuddering movement. A woman's voice, hoarse and raspy, echoes from within the device. Your service is required, Prisoner 17. That's not my name. I'm not going to take orders from a coffin. Uh, do you need some help? That's not my name. A cackle lasts, lapses into a... A cackle lapses into a sputter of coughs. You forfeited the right to a name when you betrayed the apostatic union. A number is all you deserve. But I offer you the chance of penance, an opportunity to atone for your vulgar crimes. I am the high confessor of this... Inquisition Combat Tribunal. We are tracking the most dangerous of criminals, and you will help us. 
How exactly? There's no way I'm helping the acquisition. What's in it for me? What's in it for me? She wheezes. You should be glad of such a righteous opportunity to serve penance. But success could bring benefits, even your freedom. So, listen closely. Our target's whereabouts have been un been known for us for some time. A backwater archipelago on the very fringes of Union territory. Known as the Onurik Islands, these flying islands are host to a manner of outcasts and miscreants. We arrived a few hours ago, but met with fierce resistance. Our target is in the Blinding Light Fortress, the last remaining holdout of the Dark Star mercenaries. For our quarry is their leader, the notorious Vela Kalus. I guess I have no choice. Never heard of her. Vela Kalus, this is suicide. Never heard of her. She is the daughter of Admiral Kalus, groomed for command, but she set off on her own to found a warband of thieves and pirates. The Dark Stars were tolerated in the Union until Vela became enthralled with delusions of grandeur, claiming she could create some sort of heaven. Before you go, take this Inquisition journal. The mechanical arm thrusts a peculiar device in your direction. It will keep track of your missions. My drones can offer guidance, and closer to the blinding lights, blinding lights, Inquisitor Ignavis can assist you further. Oh, and don't try to run. These flying islands are unstable, and many a fool has fallen to their death. All right, blood jar. Off we go then. Oh, let's have a look in here. Got a rusty sword, does poor damage. Swords are reliable all-rounder uh, weapons, re rewarding both speed and aggression. Chipped and corroded, this one has seen better days and may yet s see them again if some of the rust could be cleaned off. Let's see what this guy has to say. Damaged doors can be broken with a weapon. There's a chest next to me. Pick up the sword, then press the inventory key to open your journal. Navigate to the equipment panel and equip the sword into one of your weapon slots. Lastly, remember to press the attack key to unholster your weapon. Though this is a meagre task, I calculate, a, calculate there is a 1 in 20 chance you will somehow perish in the attempt. Okay. That's, what is my inventory key? It's tab. Equip. Health potion. Restore your health. This potion is brewed from the eye of Pagoth herb and hastens the body's at restoration functions. It is prescribed by most doctors, one of their few treatments that does more good than harm. Usables and spells. Spells and quick items can be equipped in the equipment menu before use. Once equipped, press spell to use spells and items use items. Why is it not telling me what the actual thing is? Like, there should be like a, like a button telling me, because now I've got to go and look at what the button is. You can scroll through equipped items with switch item or spells with switch spells. Again, than all that is. So we got sprint, shift, crouch, C. Hold or tap, left mouse button, right mouse button is for spell. Item is R for some reason. Block is F. Block is now the back. Well, it's saying back, whatever that is. Switch weapons, hold or tap Q. Switch item is Z. Switch spells, control. All right. It's a slow block. You can only do it like you can't spam it. Oh, because I've got I've got stamina. That's why. Revitalized mana created from the paradoxious herb. This potion stimulates the mind and increases the user's magical potency. It has become quite a habit for many university scholars. Okay, so it's certainly a weird-looking game. These weird herbs bouncing about. Um, where where do we go? How do we get out of here? Is it over here? It's over here. Oops, it on my head. What's this? What do we have here? Another wretched soul caught in the Inquisition's web, no doubt. Tell me, has your high confessor sent you off to die? Uh, are you a ghost? She smiles, gesturing at herself. Are you shocked by a little apparition? Her gentle laugh seems to echo around you. My, my, 
You won't get far if that's the case. She gazes into the distance. Well, stranger, you'd best watch yourself out there. Mark my words, something's brewing on this island. The stage is set, the curtain drawn, and the performance is set to bring the house down. She smirks at you. And something tells me you have your own role to play. Ugh, nice and inscrutable. As per expected of a flying apparition. Oh, hello. What, what, what's, what's going on here? Throwing knife. A well-balanced steel knife designed to be thrown. In Slev, thieves and thugs like to coat the blade with jitter seed extract for an additional sting. Right, what spells have we got? We have got no spells. Equipment. Uh, where do we... Okay, so this is what we do this here. And then it was, what was it? F, wasn't it F to throw something? Or to use something? Can we... Yeah, we can hack the boxes. Well, we can hack that box. <laughs> Not so much those boxes. Oops, some kind of weird skull down here. You glimpse the glimmer of delusion. Collect more to gain a full delusion. Delusion attributes. There are four delusion attributes. The fundamental attributes which govern your skill. Might, wisdom, guile and persona. To increase these attributes, you must first find enough glimmers of delusion by exploring or completing quests. That's interesting. So like in traditional... Uh, these kind of RPGs, you just like use items and that was... Well, say if this was Morrowind or something like that. You'd be using items to increase your skill, but... Using objects to increase your skill. Sorry, using stuff. Using skills to increase your skill. <laughs> Get it right, Nat. Uh, but here, you just pick up stuff. Not find collectibles, as it were. Restore stamina and a portion of stamina threshold. Derived from the Jitter Seed as well. This potion imbues the user with an unnatural energy. Hello? No? Alright. Just get another health potion. But yeah, it's very, um, it's got a very unique look to it, which might put some people off, but I think it's kind of cool. Kind of that classic 3D look, and then weirdness on top. <laughs> oh, look, purple moon. Pink, pink moon. Not purple. There we go, another health potion over here. Am I going to need all these? Ammunition. Oh, that's slow down and plenty there. <laughs> An assortment of ammunition for ranged weapons. Required to fire bows and the like. Oh, you're going to like a slowdown. When you're in a menu. Pilfered one lockpick. Right, here we go. More tutorial. The road ahead is patrolled by Dark Star mercenaries. I strongly recommend sneaking through the mushrooms to avoid combat. It's not that I doubt your skills, Prisoner 30, 17. I simply calculate a third in a th three in five chance you will die horribly. Remember, direct conflict is usually avoidable. Be on the lookout for ways to sneak past tough enemies. Ah, that's interesting. You're dead. In many cases, combat is avoidable. Press crouch to toggle sneaking. Your footsteps will not make any sound. Alternatively, you can sneak up behind an enemy to perform a stealth attack. Damage to unaware enemies will be multiplied. So... All right, so it's not control, so we need to change that. Crouch. It, oh, is, oh, is control used for something else? Control is used for spell switch. <sighs> what would I rather have for... I could move... I could do... For spell switch, we could do that one. Forward button. This is called. And then for this, we can do control. Because it's always control. In all games, forever and always, it should be control. Oh look, it's got like a zoomed in look, because it's grayed out the size to show you in stealth. Oh, this guy died over here anyway. Despite sneaking along, the uh, house is on fire. Right, are we safe? What's over here? Let's go and have a look over here. Oh, look, we found some knives. Hmm, interesting. It's kind of like got a linear feel to it so far. 
That one table is really on fire there. <laughs> can I jump across the river? Yes, I can. Right, there's a person over there. Do we go for a bit of combaty combat? Or you reckon, can we get a sneak attack? Nope, we can't. Wait, one attack killed them. <laughs> okay, they went that hard. Our agent is dying, but they still might be of use. You may have to charm them to gain their trust. The agent may take some convincing. You have been a prisoner for, prisoner for some time. I can no longer smell, but there is a high probability that you emit a foul stench. Success relies on your charm skill, which is derived from the persona attribute. Well, I've not got a very high persona attribute. I have not got a very high persona attribute, so I don't think this is going to work. Are you one of the locals? He looks you up and down in disgust. Look, just leave me be. I failed the Inquisition. I'd rather die in peace. Charm, I'm here to help you. I'm sorry, I'm here to help. Your Inquisition Inquisitor has tasked me with capturing Vela Calus. Success! I'm sure that's because it's a tutorial error. He lets out a weary chuckle that breaks into a cough. Oh my, I recognise you now. You're one of the prisoners. Ugh, the Inquisition, Inquisition must be really desperate. You know you're going to die, right? Those bastards wiped out our whole echelon. If you insist on this fool's errand, you might find some supplies at my crash drop pod. Follow the river upstream and you should find it by the waterfall. Alright, thanks mate. You're going to die now. Thought that was something I could get there. But, so then do I run along here? The, like, this is the river. Oh no, upstream, he said. Also, what's that under there? Potiony potion. And some coins. Alright, let's, um... Is that... No, these, some of these look like they could be harvestable, but they're not. Anyway, let's wander up the river. Yeah, here it is. Just some potions up to seven now. All right. Um, when do I get my spells, man? I'm a spellcaster with this rusty sword. Surely I'm going to get ripped at some point. What is that up there? Oh, hello. Another drop pod. More knives. To progress, you must unlock this door. You will need a lock pick to begin. You should find an ample supply next to me. When picking a lock, there is always a chance you will fail and the lock pick will break. To pick locks more easily, increase your lock pick skill. Mechanical locks are not the only security measure you will come across. There is an art to disguising secrets through magical means. Some doors can be unlocked using a lockpick item. Your chance of success is governed by your lockpick skill, which is governed by your guile. If an attempt fails, one of your lockpicks will break. Right, where is this supply of lockpicks? Said close by. Have I already got them? Where's my inventory? Ah, lockpicks. No, that's my journal. I got one lockpick. So less, less a bountiful supply than one lockpick. Can I see my character class here? Yeah, here we go. So my wisdom is three. My guard and everything else is one. Alright, so it's a random number crunch. <laughs> number crunch? Number required from a dice. A die even. Dice? Die. Die. Singular. Some doors can be opened via hidden mechanic mechanisms. These secret switches require a high enough law skill and a small amount of mana to unlock. The law skill is governed by your wisdom. You may be able to further increase it using special equipment. In this room, the candlesticks on the wall have been enchanted to seal a secret passageway. To dispel them, you will need enough law skill. The incantation will also deplete your mana slightly. A single passageway may need several switches, so always be mindful of your surroundings.
That's one. That's two. Something has changed. Slash. Oh no, I'm stuck. Get up. Oh, I've got another thing over here. What's this? Heart. Status. Your current status is represented by three stats. Health, mana, and stamina. To restore your stats, rest in a bed or drink a potion. Still not telling me what these weird things are in here. Is it just a torch? Random cave with nothing in it. Okay, I guess we go up here then. Nowhere else to go. It's a giant... St <laughs> what the... Okay. What is that? Inquisitor Ignavius is waiting for you in the nearby Inquisition column, Prisoner 17. We strongly recommend speaking to him before wandering forth to your highly probable demise. Yeah, nothing like being inconspicuous, eh, mate? In your giant tower with an eye on the top. Hello, buddy. As you approach, the Inquisitor takes in a deep breath of air. Do you smell that, Prisoner 17? Uh, mushrooms? He clicks his fingers. Exactly! He turns to you, a beaming smile across his face. I've never seen this many mushrooms in my life. Such wide stalks. Such healthy gills. He takes a long breath. Ah, and such potent spores. We have mushroom forests back home in Lind Lundell, but nothing like this. He waggles a finger at you while turning his gaze back at the mushrooms. Prisoner 17, if you get back alive, remind me to get a batch of scry shroom tea for my wife. They make it here in the Orneric Isles, and I hear it is to die for. Uh, okay. He slaps you on the shoulder. That's damn good of you, prisoner. Ah, but where are my manners? He holds out his hand in greeting. Inquisitor Ignavius of the 12th Inquisitional Tribunal, pleased to make your acquaintance. You slap his hand away. Shake his hand firmly. He grips your hand with an equal firmness. I see I'm in good company, prisoner. He points at the fortress ahead. That's the blinding light. The fortress of Vela Calus, leader of the Dark Star mercenaries. The High Confessor told me you'd be joining the assault. And not a moment too soon. We need all the help we can get. I've sent all my agents, but so far none have reported back. We expected heavy fighting, but it seems these Dark Star ruffians are a tougher bunch than we gave them credit for. Your orders are to capture Vela alive. A tall, or a tall order, I'll admit, but I think you're up to the job, prisoner. So, any questions? How do I get to the blinding light? Is there a way I can avoid bloodshed? What if I want to practice my combat skills? Ah, well, we establish a small boot camp of sorts just here. I always make sure to remind my combat echelon of the fundamentals before a tricky mission. So, you'll find plenty of target dummies and tutorial signs just below. Uh, I need to know more about Vela and this mission. He nods. Yes, I'm sure you have plenty of questions. What do you want to know? Tell me about Vela and the Dark Stars. Vela Kaluse. Now that's a name that'll make hairs stand on end. She's the daughter of old Admiral Kaluse of the Apostat Apostatic Union Navy. But instead of following in her father's footsteps, she founded the most accomplished mercenary band since the God War. Sure, she's currently the most wanted criminal in the Union, but you've got to hand it to her. For years, the Union itself relied on Vela and her Dark Stars to do the jobs the Navy were unwilling or unable to do themselves. He sighs. Ugh, it's a pity she turned down such a dark path. In the later years of the Dark Stars, their number of villainous deeds far exceeded those of noble intent. What of the Dark Stars' villainy then? Well, there was the Astral College heist in Bayou, where they made off with an artifact... Artificed Star, among other priceless treasures. Then, there is the sinking of the merchant frigate Popinjay, and all those hostages slaughtered at the siege of Saralco. Saracolo. Saracolco? Saracolco. I could go on. In the end, they say she lost the plot. Started yammering about some sort of heaven. The Inquisition ruled this was tantamount to cultism. Article... What C? I don't know what C is. <laughs> is it 100? C 100? C is 100, I think, isn't it? 112. Claims of religious nature and warranted her arrest. Of course, 
I think the polymaths over in Riova had wanted her gone long before all this. Got too big for her boots. And finally, they had their warrant. Even Vela's own Mercery got so riled up they mutinied against her. She's been hiding out for years, but the Inquisition finally got the go-ahead to make a move. So, here we are. Why are you using prisoners like me? He grins. Ah, because a rigorous labour is a tonic for the ills of one's mind. We're not like some common judiciary back in Union, homeland, where prisoners are thrown in a pit with a scrap of mouldy bread, no matter their crime. He taps his forehead. We recognise the twisted intellect of our guests, and if we can untwist that reason with the right application of punitive employment, we will have enlightened the world just a little. He clears his throat. We're also authorised to use any method at our disposal when a mission is going... Uh, how do you say it in Slev? Udders up? What do you think of the High Confessor? He strokes his chin. Many in the, Inqu Inquisition, many in the Inquisition think it is a travesty that a Confessor, that is, a prisoner still serving their penance, has been granted control of an entire tribunal. Normally, it would be the job of a High Inquisitor. Indeed, there's also the nature of her crimes and how they relate to the very criminal she has been tasked to apprehend. But personally, I think despite her quirks, she's proved herself as one of the most accomplished agents within our ranks. About the mission. Splendid. Was there anything else? Uh, how do I get to the blinding light? Why, do you see that great big cannon looming overhead? That's part of the blinding light fortress and it's where you need to get to. Just stride into that main gate, making sure to slay any pesky dark star that get in your way. Once you're in the compound, find a lift mechanism that will take you up to the battlements. That's where Vela has been holed up. Okay, I guess I get going. His smile beams. Ah, that's the spirit prisoner. I'm sure you'll make short work of those ruffians. And when you're done, be sure to check, on, check in with me after the mission. I've taken quite an interest in these Oniric Islands of late. And I'm sure I can fill you in with plenty of useful tidbits. Ah, uh, uh, one second. Uh, is there a way to avoid bloodshed? Ah, the sneaky sort, are we? Well, you're in luck. My agents reported that there's a side entrance to the right of the fortress, which leads into a maintenance tunnel of some sort. I'm sure the Dark Star laid plenty of traps, but surely nothing you couldn't disarm with a deft hand, eh? Once you're inside, you could try and avoid detection by keeping to the walls. These old Gad War forts have plenty of nooks and crannies, so just, he points his finger to his lips, keep quiet and out of sight, yes? Um, okay, I guess I could go. Right, okay. Yeah, I had all that done. Off we go. First mission. Right, let's just go and have a look at this combat stuff. What's this over here as well? Resting in beds recovers your health, mana, and maximum stamina. Beds can be cheaply rented in inns. You may also find unattended beds throughout the world. However, some are unsafe, and you'll be taking a chance by resting in them. Crystal points will restore your mana. Use the home spell to return to the last crystal point visited. You will also appear at the last used crystal point when loading the game. Okay, so it's... It's... Why well, have I got this weird thing? <laughs> it's um like a... I guess like a... It's like a save point, isn't it? A teleportation spell that transports the cast to the last crystal point touched. Though widely used by scholars, some still prefer to walk. They claim the chance of being incorrectly teleported off a cliff is not negligible. So it's a bit... It's kind of not got like a save anywhere kind of system. Which is very 2000s. Well, I guess PC games still allowed you to quick save and stuff like that, didn't they? Your attack damage depends on your current stamina. The lower your stamina, the less damage you'll do. Your maximum stamina will also deplete slowly over time. If it reaches half its original value, you will become fatigued, temporar temporarily reducing all stats. Maximum stamina can be restored by sleeping in a bed or using a stamina potion. Okay, so that's why it's gone down a bit when I was running about. Blocking and parrying. Hold block to reduce incoming damage. If you time a block just as an enemy attack lands, you will parry it. Successful parries negate all damage and will stagger the enemy. Blocking and parrying are not possible when your stamina is empty. Okay, so it's doing some... I can choose to do some blocking or whatever. Well, let's sleep. Get my stamina back. Uh, what's this? Morning, I guess that is. 
Just go see if there's anything over here. Ah, yes, another one of these points. Yeah, we've already, already read that one. All right. Guess just use this, saving. Oops, the ghost lady. See that looming fortress? It struck fear into the hearts of many who were braver and stronger than you, stranger. It was made in the God War, so the apostates named it the binding, Blinding Light to ridicule the gods they planned to butcher. Ironic that it should fall into the hands of someone so blinded by ambition and zeal. For Vela has claimed it in pursuit of her own twisted heaven, and the Blinding Light now turns its guns towards the faithless souls who made it. Her spectral eyes glisten. Tell me, stranger. If a hated enemy stood between you and your most cherished ideal, would you strike them down? Would you have the arrogance to take a life in pursuit of your fantasy? Yes, I would kill for my beliefs. Never! Still, I fear that in a world like this, such a heart will only see you dead in a gutter by the sword of someone far less scrupulous. Scrupulous. Still, you've piqued my curiosity, stranger. I'll have my eye on you. All right, you do that. Right, so it's the rights, wasn't it? But let's go look if there's anything over here, because it looks like there's some kind of crate and uh, some gold. Because there's this thing. What is this? What is that? No. Eye of Pegasus. A sh flower shaped oddly like an eyeball can be used as an alchemy ingredient. Named after the legendary god Pegasus, this herb is well known for its healing properties and is used in medicine across, across the apostatic union. Okay. So, should we go look what this thing was down here? There was some kind of weird looking enemy. Always takes... Always uh, worth exploring, I think. Or is it another plant? It's another plant. Jitter seed, so that's the one for stamina and, and, and other things. Poison. A deadly poison that can be applied to weapons. After coating your equipment with this no noxious substance, all attacks will poison enemies for a limited time. wonder if that kind of respawns, as it were. Or regenerates. I guess, being a plant. Okay, onwards to the fortress. I'm a wizard with very little combat ability, so I'm feeling the sneaky method is the way to go. Although I don't have much skills in terms of disarming traps, so I don't know if that's going to work. Okay, so there's like plenty to explore. There's like a village over there of some sort. Oh, there's enemies here. What's this? Pick locks. Or lock picks. Are they facing away? Oh, oh, they've seen me. Okay, a bit of strafing to get you first. Yeah, down you go. Ah, oh, I thought I blocked that. Oh, and that's not block, is it? That's why. That's block. And down you go. All right, not too bad, not too bad. So that's the way clear to go into the side entrance. But as always, we must go and explore. Cause it's an open world, that's what you do. It's the law. Pick this up. Ooh, look at that, into the abyss. See, you've got some more kind of Mushroom-based habitats over there. And then let's go have a look at this village over there. It's quite empty, like... It's more about exploring, it feels, and like combat and stuff like that. Oh, look at that. There's a guy going up and down in a lift over there. Didn't see that when I was over there. 
Okay, there's people here. Let's go to sneaky mode. dead. I don't know why you never turned around. <laughs> just kind of like got you in some kind of stun lock. Maybe that's what happens when you attack from behind. I need a five and I got a five. Yeah. And a, a dread delusion or a de just a delusion. Iron ore. A decent quality ore that can be used to upgrade rusty weapons. Most of the R's mines were abandoned after the God War, but the ore remains there for the taking. Well, it was worth coming over here then. Oh, we haven't finished yet. There's another guy. Oh, there's another two guys over there. There's some kind of weird plant. You have unspent delusions. All right, all right, all right. Um, do I need to actually put some stuff into combat? <laughs> or do I want guile? For the traps. Maybe I'll wait until um until I've gone for the looking. At, are they walking all the way around? What was that? Oh, it's this. It's gonna give me a spell finally. No, just mana potion. Paradoxius. Another herb. Uh, impossible flower that seems, seems to shift between different shapes. Okay, yeah, so we can grow back. There's two of them, there's two of them, there's two of them. Um, how about we... Oh, they stopped. Can I hide behind this flower? No, I cannot. Yeah, I can just... <laughs> I can just get stun lock them. Great, can we hide in this tree? And wait until they turn around. There they are. Off we go, sneaky, sneaky. Just don't turn around, just don't turn around, don't turn around, yeah. The, what, sorry, what, the apostate union now considered you, what, what was that? You're not found any map. Uh, I think that was some kind of like, reputation? this. It's just some kind of scenery. Alright, let's head inside then. Health's doing alright. Stamina's not too bad. Not sure I like the fact that your stamina will like slowly degrade over time. Is that kind of it means you have to make stamina potions, don't you, really? If you're going for, like, long treks between save points. Right. <laughs> Walk quite slowly. You don't want to be running, because that also reduces stamina. Right, now we can see whether we can disarm these traps. Or whether we're going to have to spend a point in guile. Nope, failed. 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 Alright. Kyle it is then. <laughs> now let's see. Yeah, we only needed a four. Okay, so there's a there's a trap. Failed. Failed. <laughs> Success. Wait, what? Oh my goodness. What was user, user thing as, again? Oh, it's a bizarre.
I didn't realise. I thought that was being stopped by the... Um... Can I jump over these? I can. Gain a stamina potion. Okay, so we've got a door this way, which is locked, barred from the other side. So we're going this way then. And then down. And then across. There's all the enemies down there. Sneaky, sneaky. No. Oh, hello. Where am I now? A cluttered desk. An assortment of maps, notes, and diagrams clutter the table, detailing the planned exploits of the Dark Star mercenaries. One in particular catches your eye. An expedition to the cursed underlands far below the Skyrim's realms. Sorry. Is that the same thing? Yeah. It's the same. Old contraptions. You recognise these old machines are God War relics, inoperable and mostly useless. Such strange contraptions are rarely seen outside the Clockwork Kingdom these days. So I've got two doors. So that way, and oh, missed something. And what's this way? Oh, that's the barred door. Wait, no, it's not. Uh! <laughs> Guards alert. Uh-oh. Yeah, I'm not two lockpicks, though. Oh, I've got three more, though. Okay, this... This is a dead end? This seems like a... Some kind of door, but... I can't see anything that would move it. Hmm, interesting. Talks about, like secrets but I can't there's no kind of like that when I was doing the secret before with the um oh what was that was that just like <laughs> doing the secret before you could it could my mouse icon would change must be something to that there's no clear and obvious That means I have to go back to the combat. No, it's got to be a. Uh... These are just just it's the same. This one over here doesn't do anything, does it? No. No. Hmm. Puzzling. 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 One day I'm gonna. One of these times I'm gonna forget to jump over that, <laughs> and then it will be bad. Wait, isn't this going outside? Okay, I'm a bit confused because it looks like this is heading outside. Hmm. Which makes the only way this way. Where the guard was. But this looks like the front gate. Maybe not, I don't know. Maybe I'm inside the castle. We're doing some sneaky. Okay, we're inside the castle, aren't we? And go up to... This will take me up to the battlements. Is this where we need to be? Oh, there's a guy here. Ow. 
and he's down. So he was like protecting the battlements on his own. I heard a cannon go again. Oh no, it was this. <laughs> Give me a health potion. I'm gonna need. Uh, oh, can I sneak through here? I can. I do like the um, kind of combination of sneaking and just being able to go full on in their face. That iron ore was pink. Bit odd. Oh, another lock pick. That's what I need. Another lock pick. Uh, oh, and some throwing knives. Is this the cannon? No, that's a ship of some description. There's no kind of map, is there? Just my journal. Oh, some of the box here. There wasn't any need to sneak under that thing because I could have just walked through the door. Is there something up here? No. Alright, through the door it is then. Or we sneak under here. Sneak under here. Let's just keep sneaking. Oh, there's two people over there. Like all these drop pods could have just dropped me up here. Am I not allowed to have a drop pod because I'm a criminal? Right. Do we uh, take these guys on? I have a throwing knife. What was... Um, next item? The switch items was Zed. Where's he gone? Oh, there he is over there. Uh. <laughs> Good throw, Nat. Uh oh. Have they seen? Have they both seen me? They have. So you don't want to... Yeah, down you go. You don't want to be like slashing over and over because of the way your combat works with it being less damage per stamina you have left. It's fairly simple, the combat. I mean, it's kind of like go backwards and forwards <laughs> in your classic uh, Elder Scrolls style. A vial of fine white powder distilled through alchemical processes. Extremely volatile. The flask will explode on impact when thrown. I don't know where well, there's a save point, man. Maybe when I get to the top of the battlements. And find the cannon. Right, here we go. Oh, this is the ship. We're on the ship now. Nothing in there. Nope, doesn't want to let me jump over that. Wait, isn't that the woman? Uh, let's um, get our healing potions back up. Vela Kalus stands with gravitas, her voice piercing the clatter of the ship. You notice blood seeps from her armor. She is wounded, but hides it well. Loose the sails, and why is the anti-grav engine not running? Suddenly, she ca you catch her eye. What's this? A straggler? The Dark Star Company greets you. My apologies, but you have caught us at a rather inopportune moment. I've just escaped from the Inquisition prison. Can I join you? Vela Clouse, I've I'm come to apprehend you. Oh, that's interesting. So is this an actual choice? Or... Is it just a fake choice? Um, I've come to apprehend you in the name of the acquisition. She throws her head back and laughs. Oh, that's good. You've come to apprehend me. 
You look like you need a meal and a lie down. I don't think you're in a state to apprehend a silk slug. Those Inquisition dogs really must be desperate, eh? Still, we can't tarry here. Events are in motion that can't be stopped. Prepare yourself, straggler. Great deeds are afoot. Deeds that will bring the apostatic union's tyranny to an end and that will usher in a new age of heaven. And with that, we must take our leave. It's been a pleasure, but I doubt we'll meet again. Off she sails. The fortress needs repairing before that will work. What do I do now? I'm confused. She's buggered off. Does my journal tell me anything? Oh, we can return home. You confronted Vela Calus, the dangerous mercenary leader, but she failed to apprehend her as per your deal with the Inquisition. You should return to the High Confessor and seek penitence. Alright, well, we'll just um, see if there's anything... No, it won't let me jump off there for some reason. <laughs> it's an invisible barrier. Uh, did we explore up here? I don't think we did, did we? Ah, oh, good job we never left. Ah, okay, well, there's a save point here now. That might be a good place to stop. Entice. This oddity of a spell draws upon the caster's knowledge of... So, sorry, not... Caster's force of personality rather than their arcane knowledge to sway erstwhile enemies to their side. Much studied by academic wizards, the nature of this spell remains something of a mystery, but its power is not in doubt. All right. We're going to save there. All right, that was Dread Delusion. Uh, yeah, it's kind of quite cool, quite neat. Um, obviously, a kind of tutorial style area. So it's, there are places to explore, but it feels quite linear at the start. I would assume that as you get into the game, it opens up a bit more. There's a bit more exploration allowed. Um, I like that there was like two ways to attack. It's kind of very binary. Um, much like something in Deus Ex from the 2000s would be in like, you can go frontal assault or you can go around the side through the ducts. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's very kind of, uh, what's the word? Oh, I forgot what they're called now. Anyway. Um, yeah, so that was good fun. Quite enjoyed that. As I say, it's out now. I'll put a link in the description below. Um, it's uh, old school, but kind of neat old school, um, <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please consider liking and subscribing. All that good stuff really helps the channel. Um, I appreciate anyone who takes time out to do that. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again next time.